The first periodic trend that we'll talk about is atomic radius. Um, it's actually really hard to find the atomic radius. So remember when we learned about atoms, it's not like a basketball where you can kind of feel the outside of it. Remember that with a atom, it just gets less and less likely to find electrons as you get farther and farther from the nucleus. But there's no outer boundary. You can, it can't say, like, where's the outside of the atom. So instead, the atomic radius is half the distance between the nuclei of two adjacent and touching atoms. Well, what does that mean? Let's look at the... So let's say I have a chlorine atom and a chlorine atom, and I measure the distance between the two nuclei. Okay, If I take half of that distance, you'll see that that is the radius of a chlorine atom. Okay, So, for instance, here I have two sodium atoms. Okay, The distance between the nuclei divided by two, and you have the radius of sodium. Same here, the radius of chlorine, or the radius of these two ions. Okay. That we know what it is, look at, let's look at the trends. We're always going to look at two trends. The group trend, that's what happens when you go down a group. So when we go down a group, the atomic radius increases. The atoms get bigger. Well, why is that? Well, as you go down a group, you're adding energy levels, so the atoms are getting larger. Think, for instance, of this picture where this right here might be a 1s, right? So that might be kind of how big hydrogen would be. And then the next ring would be a 2s, so maybe that is lithium. Okay, you can see we're going down that group. Okay, this third one here is 3s, right? So now we're talking about sodium and potassium. So as we add energy levels, you can see that the nuclei are getting bigger. Not the nucleus, the atoms are getting larger. So as you go down, atoms get bigger. Here's a picture of a bunch of atoms, and you can see as you go down a group that the atoms are getting larger. See, as you go down here. Okay, you can see lithium to sodium to potassium in this group, they're getting larger. As you go down the second group, they're getting larger. So if you look at this same thing as a graph, you can see from beryllium to magnesium to calcium. Okay, you can see that as you go down a group, the atoms get larger. And it's just simply because you're adding more energy levels. Now the periodic trend, so that means as I go across a period from left to right, okay, just like you're reading a book in English, okay, the atomic radius actually decreases. And that's not intuitive, okay? You might have guessed that it would get bigger because you're adding electrons and protons. But what happens, as you go across, there's more and more protons, so the nucleus becomes more positive, so it's pulling the electrons closer and closer to the nucleus, making the atoms smaller. So as you add more protons to the nucleus, think of it as pulling on the electrons more and more and more, so as you go across, the atoms tend to get a little bit smaller each time. Okay. Here again, as a picture, if you take this bottom row as you go across this period, you can see they're getting smaller. You can see they're getting smaller, smaller. Okay. Now, if you look really closely, you'll see some exceptions in there. Just ignore them, okay? They're not important. So if we just looked at the third period elements, these guys right here, you can see again graphically that they're getting smaller. So you can look at them sort of a picture of circles or as a graph. So you should have made this graph right here in our activity. So you can see now um, if we were to label this, the top parts here are your alkaline metals. Remember your alkaline metals? So that's group one. Okay, They're the biggest in each group. So you can see as we go here, this would be the group trend. As you go down the group, they're getting bigger. And then as you go across the period, they get smaller. So they get smaller, and then they jump up and get big, and then they get smaller, and then they jump up and get big, and then they get smaller, and then they jump up and get big, and then they get smaller. Okay, so that's the summary of atomic radius.